Well, let's talk about measuring our spiritual health. You know, a whole lot has been written about the comprehensive effects of the global pandemic, from the economic fallout to changes in our workplaces, and from the impact on students' learning to the increased burdens on women in our society in particular. Sunday's message touched on a topic that the press has kind of gotten close to but never really addressed, the impact of the past year on our spiritual health. Now, we've read a lot about how introverts are really happy with uh, quarantining, how extroverts have sometimes forgotten how to be extroverts. We've heard that parents are tearing their hair out and that a whole lot of students have longed to get back in the classroom while others have really dug doing school in their PJs at home. But this Sunday, Mark brought up a topic that is easy to overlook in the midst of it all, our spiritual health. He began by asking us, would you say the past year helped or hindered you in your spiritual health? I wonder how you answered that one. What criteria did you use? Maybe your response was based on one of these questions. How many mornings each week did you meet with God? What's the quality of the online sermons you've consumed over the last year? How about the number of Christian podcasts absorbed? Or maybe the line on your taxes indicated charitable giving? Or maybe it was something else less quantifiable, like how you feel things are going for you spiritually. Well, in Sunday's message, Mark supplied a rubric to analyze our spiritual health because recapturing spiritual health becomes infinitely easier the sooner you have a clear target to shoot for. Jesus' response in Matthew 22 to a lawyer asking him about the greatest commandment, well, it provides our target still today. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Loving God and loving others. How we do these will tell us all we need to know about our spiritual health this week. Why don't you pray? God, I, I really thank you that you made it simple. We don't have a million laws to follow. It's love God and love others. But I also thank you that that is not shallow at all. That is really deep. Help me to be honest with myself as I look inward this week. I love you, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.